All right, so I hurt my hamstring a few or a few weeks ago, so I'm meeting with Janelle today um, to help me out with that. And I'm just kind of towards the strain. What I can do is soft tissue work, but then I also have, you asked about that before, I have these straps here, oh, nice. which will be when I put your legs under, basically, and like stretch you, stretch you passively. Okay, cool. So a lot of it's going to be, you have to remain as relaxed as possible, and then I take a few movements, and hopefully you can get that muscle to kind of regain it. Like, basically a different neurological response because right now it's tight, it wants to stay tight, and it thinks it's still damaged, so now we're going to look at trying to um, kind of unwind that pattern. Because I've also been trying to work on my mobility, but I noticed like it is better, but it's just like not yeah. your normal. And it's a totally different response when someone else is doing it to you versus when you're trying to do it yourself. Because you're always going to be a little more cautious, you're not going to go past like a certain threshold. So when someone else is doing it, you can kind of push that threshold. I feel kind of a ball, like a knot right here, and that's probably where it's most sensitive. Yeah. Um, that's probably where that strain happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Yeah. <laughs> Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Are you feeling it? If you haven't had like soft tissue work done in a while too, on top of that, that's usually oh. what people feel the most. They're just like, oh, I forgot how brutal this is. I also figured out, I think, why I hurt myself. I think I was trying to overcompensate, like, opening up when I was uh, squatting. Sure. And I was rolling on the side of my shoe. All right, so I'm done and I feel a lot better. <laughs> I feel a lot better and I can actually move my hamstring. It was really painful, but it was worth it. So, <laughs> which is funny because, like, I told or I, what I tell you last time, because you normally work on my pecs, sure. I said, um, I said like, you working on me hurt more than getting my uh, whole chest piece done yeah. when I went oh, to go tattooed. That's right, I remember that. <laughs> but yeah, no, I feel that's a lot better. It's worth the pain, I highly recommend. Here, let me see where I can get, oh, there we go. All right, it should be fine. I highly recommend Janelle, so. <laughs> You can drop a comment or whatever, and I'll, I can share her contact info. So that's that. Now it's Shaggy's turn. <laughs> All right, so it's Wednesday morning, and I just wanted to give a little bit of an update on how I've been feeling. In one of the last vlogs, I mentioned that I really wanted to focus on taking a few days off, and um, that was my Tuesdays and Thursday evenings. So I have to say that I feel dramatically better. Um, it's the best I have felt in years. I feel like I have more time to kind of like focus on different projects. That's a little bit of why you've been seeing a little bit more of these vlogs. And I was always afraid to kind of like step back um, because I had this fear that everything would fall apart. And now like two, three weeks in, like the gym is doing better than ever. Everything's running extremely well. I feel better. Like, you know, my relationship with uh, Jackie feels better. And um, on top of the vlogging, I'm also um, doing a little bit more with boxing. So um, that's going to be interesting. Maybe I'll kind of turn that into a thing if you guys are interested. But if you don't know, I used to fight 13 years ago. I made it to the 2007 Golden Gloves. So um, I used to fight at flyweight, which was about 113 pounds. I am now about 184. So the goal would be to get down to 175 and just kind of start pushing myself to see if I can get a little bit more serious with uh, with the boxing. Um, kind of taking it easy on my body with powerlifting and then kind of like jumping into a whole nother sport again. But like I said, I like working. I like doing things. And uh, for a bit, uh, powerlifting became a chore and I was starting to get injured. And so I think it's a good time to take a break from it and try something different and kind of push myself. Uh, in a direction where I have that fire and I have that passion um, to kind of push. It doesn't mean that I'm going to quit powerlifting. It doesn't mean that I'm going to stop coaching. It doesn't mean that everything's going to change. It just means I want to try something different. And I think that's okay. I think a lot of us tell ourselves that uh, we can't like 
you know, at 28 years old, like switch and switch things up and do something different. Like I think people are really stuck on like, oh, I've done this uh, this way for all my life. Like I got to keep doing it. Like, no, you can switch things up, you know, like um, there's people that do different sports that kind of like, you know, will jump between like powerlifting and strongman or like different things like that. So um, I just... I, I think I need that for myself right now. So I'll be vlogging a little bit more of that process as well. Looking better. Looking faster. Yeah. Uh, the better my conditioning's getting, the less sloppy I am. And then I'm trying to work on like speed versus power. I'd rather have good foot, you know, like foot movement and good good speed than just power.